I'm a purple. Not that there yet, but this is the uh, full screen and not full screen options. It took me a while to realize which one was which. I have no idea what any of this says. Oh, I could read that. Double Ds. And welcome to Return of Egypt. This is a kind of a fast Castlevania fan game, but not exactly. Oh, is this a sequel to The Mummy? Actually, funny enough, we don't fight a mummy in this game. What the hell? I was promised Egypt. And Charlton Heston. And... I'm just starting to guess what that thing jumping at someone is. Is it... Is it's, it Boogie uh... Boogie? <laughs> I don't know. It might be. Oh, hold on. Hold on, let me search on Bible Gateway. Uh, giant jumping at Moses. <laughs> but yeah, uh, basically we have come to Egypt to probably stop some ancient evil that arose a while ago. And here's How our... do you even know that? Because it says a hundred, and that's usually what that means. Wait, how did I get to gospel.com where it talks about a poker chip and a Super Bowl? <laughs> anyway, look at this man's uh, very nice beard. Okay, got it. Rush, Russian David the Shepherd Boy? It's very anime. Wait, no it isn't. Well, it's the it's the anime Bible. It's the one they made to uh, appeal to children. So let me get this straight. What? I, I'm not getting... What are you talking about? Mummies or Charlton Heston. Well, you'll see what we come up with. There there were some parts of ancient Egypt that you were never told about. Oh, boy. This is the... This is going to be like... But yeah, here's Moses. The game adaptation of Noah, right? The new movie coming out? Yeah, as long as it comes with uh, Noah, uh, Noah doing some acrobatics with his staff. Okay. At the ripe old age of 365. Yep. We have the Egyptian mummy. We have the Egyptian skeleton, sorry. Really? The Egyptian ectoplasm. I mean, even Castlevania had mummies, so you're telling me this Egypt game doesn't? I have actually heard in several places that this, like, there are two different versions of this game, and one has far more content. But no one knows where it is. Oh. I think they come out of coffins, so that's that. Well, uh, I mean, you just have to go back to Egypt to find it. I mean, did their uncle that works at Nintendo tell them that? No, it's just apparently there. Ac it actually was. There were two versions that were actually like one was much bigger, but. Konami, Dad, help! I did find it on the MSX website. Uh, so there's two versions, and the other one is Vladis' story. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually a first in all these uh, Castlevania fan games. This actually looks like the Metroidvania version. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. It's like y you have something that looks like you should be able to level up or increase your health or whatever. You don't. Oh. In this whole game, you will never increase your health. Well, you've got a hundred blue. What is? What can you do? What can blue do for you? That's for later. That's for miracles. These are our save points. Oh, okay. Which I actually kind of think are pretty sweet. Also, uh... Basically, we just sit down to rest yeah. our old man bones, and that he heals us. Well, works for me. Worked for Alucard. I, number two is, like, the command list. So it kind of tells you what you have to do. Take my blue stuff, bad guys. I'm waiting for the, adap or the adapter that lets you uh, put images into Google Translate. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, or maybe they could have put, you know, the other part of the subtitle in the readable language instead of fucking hieroglyphics. <laughs> I, I kind of really hope that the hieroglyphics are fake, and it's like, they say something completely different, like this is the catacombs, and instead it's like, fucking dog biscuits. I'm pretty sure it clearly said that we were at fish walking people eyeball staff. Oh yeah, also we have ninja Egyptian skeletons. They do backflips and throw knives. I like how you can deflect the knives uh, with your weapon. That's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, the, the walking stabs are known for being able to save your life from assassins. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just cool that they put that in the fan game. I mean, the scariest thing here is that there's a lot of effort put into this. Well, it's a Japanese fan game. There's usually more effort put into that. I don't know, man. Well, depends on what you mean by effort, because there's only approximately three songs in this game. 
it's whether the effort is good or not, but there's usually just more. Also, hey, remember the golden calf? Oh, yeah, yes. no. Also, I, I guess this could technically be a bomb for the mummy. Whoa, okay. Bringing out the hyper beams already. I guess he's also Blanca. So, yeah, he has a very simple pattern. He will laser, charge, and then shoot the little gas ball. The idea is just to basically go balls out offense on him. So, is the golden calf just, like, there to make you think it's going to come to life? I think maybe we were fighting it. I like the balls on it. It's got some massive balls. Uh. <laughs> All right. So now what? You didn't have to whip him. Now he's going to get pissed off and charge at you. You killed the boss. I would be totally happy with that. Your reward is nothing but a save point. <laughs> reward is sitting down in a chair for a couple seconds. Sits down. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm like 600. Well, now he won't have to bother with that. Yeah, was that the door opening sound effect, or was that his bone creaking? Both. Oh, did you get the speed booster? What up, Jesus? Oh, hey, bro. Oh, sorry I swearing at you earlier. What are you doing in this ancient temple, destroying it? This is dangerous, old man. You should leave. No, oh, it's cool. I got, like, the speed booster, and it's gonna be great. I'm gonna fling my 600-year-old body at the ceiling and break in half. It'll be cool. Jesus, are you here to teach me how to kill enemies with my beard? God, no. no. I, just, I just need to know how to shine, Spark. Come on, man. Lay it on me. I can't read that. <laughs> Where's all this fucking water that I can part and do tsunamis on, bitches, yo? That's later! Oh. My bad. You gotta get the gravity suit first. <laughs> I love how he just shrugs. He gets the power ball and then he literally just becomes his head. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of all sucks up into him. Yeah. But hey! Now that we have our running ability, we can dash everywhere. And... That's awesome. If you get the after images and everything. The weird thing is, is that as long as you're like still holding in a direction, you'll still be running, even if it looks like you aren't. Huh. Well, okay. That looks okay. Though you do have to redo it every time you like change rooms. But it's not that big a deal, because this game is not actually that big. Yeah. But you can't shine spark, which is a little disappointing. No, I think they weren't able to get that far in development. Maybe Jesus is just holding out on us. It would explain how he gets into some of the later areas. Alright, so where do we have to go now? I've not really seen anywhere that the dash helps to get by, unless you just didn't go there yet. Oh, there is. It's just you have to kind of think about it a little bit. Oh, I hate thinking... I kind of like, however, that the enemies get hurt in the direction that you're facing, so that if you hit one of those, like, flying ghost dudes, you will just send them to the left, even if they're on your right. Sly, this is Bible-based. We're not supposed to be thinking about things. Well, we're fighting fake angels, so... Gotta turn off your brain and get indoctrinated. Yeah. Like, hold on, let me find a Bible verse that's relevant here. Hold up Moses' arms. Thessalonians 16 by 9. And thus Moses did smote the Egyptian mummies, and skeletons, and skeleton ninjas. Book of Exodus. Also, the golden calf actually had this guard walking around with the shot lasers. What does the belt Bible say about skeletons? So which part of Exodus did he get the speed booster in? Uh, I think it was, like, the second part when he had to get across the, uh, Red Sea. Right. You know, because he, like, right. I mean, you, know, you can't keep that open forever. You gotta get people through quick. Mm. Yeah, he pe he actually picked up people and carried them across instead of them just walking. No, he Shine Sparked across. He slammed into the wall and then dropped them. Shine Sparked back across, grabbed another dude, shot across. Yeah, speaking of dropping, mm. something got dropped. It was faster than just having everyone walk. Well, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm, somebody else is probably there. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Okay, you're back. It you dropped. I was gonna talk all about how, uh, you know, Moses' new life as a courier. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, why not? He, he could easily do that now. He's, I would put all my, my bets on, uh, on him, and he would be probably, like, 
NewAtheistHorse.com. We, he, de- he, de- <laughs> he delivers letters and you just come by and there's like a bunch of Oh, smashed. I'm so chared! <laughs> I, I like this enemy. He, he gets close, he just tilts over. <laughs> what a stupid enemy. Has he got a candle on his head? No, it's a knife. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't have any hands, so he has to do something. It's even more ridiculous. Actually, no, it's a spear. The spear is stuck through the chair, into the skull, and come up the other side. It's... I mean, what's the thought process to design that enemy? How do I make a rocking chair kill someone? That's the That's thought process. That's actually kind of cool. It's kind of like combining... It's kind of kind of combining the themes of this game, old people and dead things. Yeah, now yeah. that I think of it, a rocking chair that kills you is probably an old man's worst enemy. Yeah. Or a cat. You know, when your Dark Souls character gets to be 600 years old. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be the next this is going to be the next enemy in Dark Souls. <laughs> well, yeah. Once you that get old enough, be fucking scary. The mimics turn into rocking chairs. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> you sit down in the rocking chair and it's like you start gaining health back until it like just stabs you. Yeah, then it turns into teeth. It eats you. No, it doesn't even grow teeth. It just sort of folds up. Like it... you're walking up An Orlando and then you just see a bunch of rocking chairs with skulls on them instead of the fucking giants. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh god, that would that would be probably the most messed up thing. Also, oh. by the note, uh, when you're fighting these like little flying gargoyle dudes, they never go away. So if you kill one another will pop up. Oh, that's obnoxious. So they're all like Medusa heads except for they follow you. Yeah. They're not okay. that difficult, it's just the uh, I mean, if there was one way to make Medusa heads more annoying... Let me touch your knife. <laughs> homing would be it. Uh, Moses is a little bit... So then after... Guess who? It's the bad guy! Oh, who's that? Lucifer. I'm going, that... To, I'm going to guess that this is Dracula Akhenaten. Or Dracula Hodden. Look, that is clearly Roy from Fire Emblem. Eh, What's maybe he doing if he was here? A, drawn as a bad guy, you know, with a longer face. He has a massive jaw. Look Very at that jaw. massive. Oh my god. You could just stick that on the chair skull things and probably be just as deadly. I like how I like how the Pharaoh's mask is just staring at them both, like, you know, I don't actually have to be here. This doesn't have all that much to do with Egypt. You needed the mummy, right? I brought the mummy. Can is it <laughs> mummy time? And then he just kind of disappears with the Matrix blocks. What? He is Cyber Dracula Akhenaten. Oh, jeez. So then we jump over this part, and we're pretty close to the next boss. But you had to go here to get the key, otherwise you just have to go find. I wonder what the next episode that's starting pretty soon has anything to do with it. Don't worry, we'll get to the boss. Okay. He's not that hard. Tell him you just gotta sit and contemplate your yeah. life. The saving well, seems to be a little man. difficult he's gotta, there. He's gotta sit and rest his bones, otherwise he'll just... No, I think he was just contemplating, what the fuck are those rocking chairs doing there? Like, yeah. really? Also, not- notably, the rocking chairs actually do different amounts of damage depending on which part of them hit you. Okay, that sounds like effort. The blade will do 20 damage, if well, the rest of it will do 8. Huh. Uh, have you ever been hit with a skull? Mm, probably not. Well, okay, let me tell you about creationism real quick, and then we can get into the apes and right. how ape damage and ape skulls are connected. Moses, that's his version of back therapy. Oh! Ooh. Ow. Uh, she used to go to a massage parlor, like the Bible ones where you get stoned to death. That, what do you think that was? Well, yeah, exactly. It was the smashy thing. Yeah, you know, it's just that straightens out your back and also the rest of you. Jesus, find a save point. I guess chiropractors weren't exactly invented back no, then. No, let's just go fight the boss. You only have three health. What? Nice job. Good job. Way to go. Game over. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, he's in here too.